Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my blog and YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Super cute little box to share with you today. Opens like, whoa, hello. Opens like this. Uh, this is using the coffee designer paper and a little bit of the trim that goes along with it. So I thought I would share with you how I made it. I am starting off with a piece of cardstock, nine and three quarters by seven. On the long side, I am going to score at one and a quarter, four and five eighths, five and seven eighths, and nine and a quarter. And then on the short side, I'm scoring at one and a quarter and five and three quarters. Fold and burnish all your score lines. I'm using Bermuda Bay here today. And in this example, this was Soft Sky. All right, now I'm gonna cut up to that first score line and we will wedge out. Same with this one. And this one we're going to take off completely, but we are going to wedge this side as well. And while we're at it, we can wedge this one. Okay, so that's what you should have. I'll flip it around and do the same thing. Cut up the score line, wedge out, wedge out. Wedge, wedge here, wedge here, wedge here, cut off, just like that. All right, flipping it around, I have fast views here. I'm gonna put adhesive close to that score line and on the free edge, same with this one, close to the score line and on the free edge. Same here and there. All right, so then all we have to do is put the base together. So basically I'm taking that free edge and bringing it up on the score line there. There. That one. And that one. The reason why we wedge these babies in is so that it opens and closes a little bit nicer. So it actually all fits inside. Really nice. Okay. Okay, so I am using the Bubbles and Fizz, which is a celebration um, item. It's the designer series paper. I love the stars. So this size is four and a quarter by three, and that's for the lid. Then we need two pieces, uh, one by four and a quarter for the front. Oops. And for the back. Oopsie. And then one and three, one by three and one eighths for the sides. Now I thought I would do the exact same thing that I did with this one and make a pretty little tie a bow around everything. The thing is that I was able to put adhesive along the other one and this one I'm just going to have to wing it. Thank you. 
Okay, so in order to adhere that bow, I need to get out a little glue dot and I will stick the glue dot right underneath. And then I will cut off the excess. So this ribbon actually has a little bit of sparkle to it. So nice. And it is um, f with the celebration um, items that you can get for free if you have a purchase of $60 or more in Canada. And then I have a piece of Whisper, and this comes from The Hanging Garden. It says, to one of the loveliest people I know. So I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay. Now I'm going to take my, I can't remember what this punch is called. Is it the, I can't remember. I really should know this punch. I've used it often enough. Everyday label punch, maybe? Okay. So, um, in order to get this little border, this one here, I just took a little extra piece of Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to punch that. Whoops. I try to use up all of my scraps, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of Fast Fuse. And then with some dimensionals, I like this little box. What a cute little build. <laughs> All right, that's my share for today. Thanks so much for hanging. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.